Hi. 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 How did you guys um, being at the club this year compared to last year where the show was new, didn't quite know what to expect from it, now it's gone off out. I know, it's so crazy. Um, personally, the difference for me was that we did that signing round table and last year I was at the end and people would come to me and be like, I don't really, and then give me like the sympathy, I guess you could sign it, like the lady who's standing here. And like this year it was like, hi Diane, I'm like, oh, all right, all right, Con, thanks for the respect, I appreciate it. But I think for the, I remember last year saying to Raul when we were doing this and he was like, this is so cool, I'm like, wait till next year when people are in Ravi costumes. And, and sure enough, this year there's a couple people in Ravi costumes and there's people dressed as Liv, it's just, it's insane. And I remember like sitting in these offices in Burbank with Rob when we were coming up with like our take on the property and talking about like chopsticks and ramen noodles and hot sauce and all of that and just to see like some, a, a fan walking around with a Tupperware of ramen noodles and the chopsticks and hot sauce, I just, it's the best thing in the world. It's so cool. As a geek and a, a fangirl, I'm like, that's amazing. So, but, but there's, I'm also, part of me is out right now buying TARDIS t-shirts, so I kind of not fully here, so, um, yeah. Can you talk? No. Well, the other thing is, I like the t-shirts. I like when they're signing, the auto and the people that walk by and they have these amazing t-shirts. There was one of Batman climbing the TARDIS, and I was like, I need that. So, yeah, I mean, I haven't gotten to see anything. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get to see some stuff, but um, apparently I can't go to the Star Wars panel because that's when our panel is, but I know. I was like, I guess Harrison Ford's not coming to our panel again, but um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Can you talk about where season two picks up and how you're paying off some of the things that you ended with in the finale? Um, season two is going to pick up three months later, so and we'll find out more about what Liv has, the, the fallout from how we, we ended and um, how relationships have changed and where Liv is kind of at now after this kind of explosive, like, life kind of blew up. And so we, we pick up three months later with that, but I can't really tell you what, what but, um, but it's still, it's, you know, Blaine will still be, uh, there's still a lot of awesome, cool, dark things to come from Blaine and uh, a lot of fun, different brains from, from Liv, and there's still an overall story that we'll have. We'll have some more Max Ranger. So, more Steven Weber. This is delightful. Isn't he delightful? I love him. He's always so. the right amount of crazy. He's always, it's like just like you see him in person, you're like, I'm excited to see you. Are you going to cut me? Like, it's a little... Rob, we were saying that our favorite moment is in the in the uh, finale when he's in that yoga pose and his assistant comes in and shows him the newspaper and he looks down at it and then he tries to like recenter himself and he like acts with his lower lip. It's like basically the only thing that's moving, but you totally get that he's like so pissed off but trying to be zen. And I, I think I watched that like 500 times. He's just amazing. I fell into a succulent plant once when I was with him. He was a friend of a friend and we were walking to uh, we were going to a concert and I was like chatting and trying to sound cool and funny and I literally just fell off the side of the road into a giant jade plant and it was this hugely embarrassing moment and of course the first thing when I met him this time was like hi I fell into a jade plant once while trying to impress you and, and he still was not impressed which I found odd you would think by now that would be a wildly impressive story but um, yeah the, uh, the first season it wasn't afraid to throw some shock deaths and kill off some quite major characters yes Bradley James um, I'm still not over that I'm not did you go in? David Andrews saw him last night. Oh, because he's here for David? Yeah. yeah. And so he said, so I was like, oh, I wish a fan was there to witness that. They would have thought it was cool. But, um, but did you go into this season thinking, this is the way we're going to go at it. We're not going to be afraid to kill off people. Yes, definitely. And it's funny because we knew that we were going to kill off that character. And it was funny because then once we cast him, I was a fan from Merlin. And, and once we cast him, it was like, do we really have to? But like you, you had to, but you you so didn't want to. But it was such a balls out move that I was excited to do it. But at the same time, as a fan and as a person that liked him, I was like, do we really have to? And it was so it was so upsetting. It's so upsetting to see how much everybody liked him and to be like, I know how, how I am as a fan when someone gets killed. That is so upsetting to me that uh, I was yeah. I'm still not over the deaths from Walking Dead last season. Like I like I just can't. I can't. Like why? There's just no, why do that to me? And you, like, come on. But, um, yeah, amazing. But so I'm, I'm glad that we did it, but I'm kind of heartbroken about it, too. Well, it shows that the sort of the stakes of the show are there's, you know, no one's really particularly safe. 
same. Yeah. Imagine next season you're going you you to you have that even bigger. You have to do that because if you make it too safe, then people, there's never any jeopardy and you're never worried for anybody and you're just like, oh, she's, I, mean, I think people are so savvy now with like, she's 7 out of 13, she's fine. Like, you know, like people know that now. Like, Kit Harrington's hair is long. He wants to still be on Game of Thrones. Um, which, by the way, I'm still confused about because then you saw pictures of him with short hair and I'm like, were the, those old pictures that they like leaked to kind of throw us off the scent? I don't know, but I'm concerned. He better come back. I know I'm supposed to be talking about iZombie. I can't help that. But, um... Are you introducing any new characters this season? Kind of. There's someone that we met briefly um, in uh, last season that will be coming back, but I can't tell you who it is. That's so annoying. I'm sorry. But you've seen her before. Ooh, oops. And, um... I, by the way, accidentally like said something before that I shouldn't have said, and Rob was like, <laughs> I thought, oh my god, it was horrible. I'm like, I'm drunk, don't repeat that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not drunk. But, um, but um, yeah, so yeah, we'll see someone new. There'll be a new character that um, we have seen very briefly that will now have a, play a bigger part. I'm excited that Jimmy the Sketch Artist is coming back, because he's, um, for a, a couple episodes, because I don't know if you guys saw the show, but he was, he was just in an episode, and he was super funny, and everybody loved him, and then he came back and did another episode, and so he's just a guy we, we love and keep bringing back. I hope you guys get someone more exciting because I feel like I'm boring the crap out of you. <laughs> Not at all. You're the one who holds all the secrets. I hold the secrets, I know, and I'm like, I can't tell you anything. <laughs> what does that mean? Like for the day? Like last question.